Hello, my friends. It is Yahoo's and Boo's for January and some into February. I'm actually going to start with some YouTube channels that I think you guys need to check out. One is Dr. Sam Ellis. Is that how you say her name? Sam Ellis. She is a dermatologist and I really like her no nonsense, just how she talks. She just says how it is. She doesn't have a lot of fluff. She just gets down to the business about telling you what your skin needs or a product and things like that. So if you're looking for a good dermatologist channel, I would recommend her. And these are everything I'm going to talk about. I'm linking below in the description. The next one is called The Budget Dermatologist. She does concentrate on things that are a little bit more affordable. Now, it's not that she doesn't talk about higher end products at all. She does. But she really does try to show you ways of being able to get good skincare at a more affordable price. So check her out as well. For those of you who are Christians, there is a channel I have really been enjoying. It's called Grace for Purpose Prayers. This is a channel that puts out a video, I think, every single morning. I like how they do it. All it is is beautiful scenery in God's creation. And there's music to it. They'll bring up di different scripture passages where they would show it on the screen, but they also read it. It's very short little devotional, and then they pray about that devotional, and they walk you through the prayer. It's about 10 minutes. I have done it while I'm doing, like, if I'm doing my current body mask or something, I'll put that on. That's only about 10 minutes, and I will listen to that, and it's kind of like a peaceful time, and sometimes it just helps to hear other people pray. So I have really been enjoying that channel a lot. Another one, now I do not know if I'm going to say it right. Her channel is called Cecilia Blomdahl. <laughs> Blomed. I don't know. She lives up in um, near the North Pole, like way, way, way up in um, Svalgard, I think is the name of it, near Norway. Okay, don't quote me on that. She lives where there are polar nights when they have darkness 24 hours for like three months and she's in the middle of that right now i believe they are in the yeah they're in the middle of polar nights right now it's just an interesting channel she is just fun she speaks whatever language it is she speaks <laughs> and she speaks english very well like she will go back and forth talking in her language <laughs> and english like she switches I, i'm i'm boggled by her she lives with her boyfriend and she lives with this beautiful dog and they just talk about life. She talks about how it is to live with no light. And of course, in the summer, they have all light all the time. And she says that actually is stressful to her. She likes the darkness. It's just a really good channel. She has skyrocketed as far as people watching her. Her channel has grown by leaps and bounds. I just love watching people who their life is so different than mine. It's just so interesting. So I like her as well. She just seems like a sweet lady. Sweet girl. She's very young. <laughs> okay, there's two Instagrams I need to tell you about. One is, the name is Cost N, like N apostrophe, N Mayer. And I, I, I don't know why the name. I started watching them a couple months ago. They are this, I believe, husband and wife duo that they are so good. They're fun to watch. They do these quick things. They will take some song or ditty, musical ditty or whatever, and they will put they will put dance moves to it. And they're so good. They're just good. I love watching them and they just seem like a fun couple. And yeah, man, I wish I could move like that. The next one is called, okay, her name is Darling on a Dime, Kristen Calm. I think, I'm not sure if that's how you say her last name. And there's an underline between, I'll link it below. She's hysterical. She is a Christian and she also talks a little bit about modesty, like dressing modestly and things, but mostly she's just funny. Like her, if she does like words to a 
sound. Like if somebody said something and she's using that as her thing to do, she's right, like she's on it. She says it exactly. Like she must practice so much to get her mouth to look like she's. Psst, it's almost Friday. It's almost Friday. It's almost Friday. Just letting you know. Do we have any plans for Friday? I have no idea if I'm making sense, but you have to go and check her out. She uses filters that are hysterical. Dad, can I walk to the park? Well, let's see. If a stranger asks you to get in his van, would you? Absolutely. I love meeting new people. No, you don't get in their van. Okay, I won't. What if he has candy? Now I'm getting in. I love candy. No, you don't get in. But he has candy. Come you on. don't get in. Fine, I won't. What if he says, but I know your dad? Then I'm getting in. That's family. No, he's lying. That liar. What if he has a puppy? I'm getting in. No, you still don't get in. Okay, no problem. What if he offers you money? I'm in there. No. 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 Okay, no. What if he says he'll take you to the toy store? Scoot over. I'm getting in. No. I'm staying out. I'm not getting in the van. No, you can't go to the park. I don't even want to go anymore. She is unabashed, goofy, and I, I love her. I just love her Instagram. She's hysterical. Go check her out. All right, some beauty products, and then I'm going to talk about a couple home things that I am loving these days. One beauty product is this. It is the Holy Hydration Remedy Hand Cream from e.l.f. This, this surprised me. I, I am a very picky hand cream person. I used to love this one. I forgot the name of it. Oh, what's the name of it? I used to get on Amazon. I'll put it here somewhere. I loved this, but it's expensive and I'm just not willing to pay it for a hand cream. I'm not a huge fan of the smell. I wish that they did an unscented version. Maybe they do and I just don't know it. I haven't checked it out. What I like about this is that it feels good on and then it doesn't get sticky. It doesn't stay sticky. So that's huge to me. So this actually has surprised me. I like it very much. Elf, if you are in any way, shape, or form going to ever watch my channel, please listen to me and do a non, an unscented version of this. That would be lovely. Okay, I'm going to go to, I haven't even said Yahoo's. Everything I've said so far has been Yahoo's. This is a boo. This is the Revolution Brow Block. I actually did a short on it. So go to my shorts and check it out, but I will just give you a spoiler alert. It doesn't work. It just, I don't know. Somebody commented on that video and said, you're supposed to really saturate it and then use stuff. I tried the trick she said, still didn't work. My eyebrows still drooped down. They didn't stay up. It, it's just not, it's just, it didn't work. What did work, and I've talked about it in some of my videos bef um, before this, is this NYX Brow Glue in brown. So I've loved it in clear, but I showed you guys when I did a whole video about new drugstore stuff that I had discovered that they made a brown one. <gasps> Love this. This works so well. It holds my brows up long term. It doesn't have this glossy look. I What I usually do is I'll brush it through and then I use just a disposable spoolie that I reuse and reuse and reuse. I don't dispose of them. <laughs> and I just brush it through. Works like a charm. Love this stuff. Okay, while we're on the subject of brows again, this has so been out for such a long time, but I don't know why I just rediscovered it, is the e.l.f. Precision Brow Pencil. This really is a good brow pencil. It's very thin. It just works well. It's not, it's a waxy texture, but it's not so waxy that it just feels like it's gonna go right off of your face or it balls up. It doesn't do that balling up thing. I love this and it has the precious spoolie at the end that I must have on my brow pencils. Here's another boo. This is the e.l.f. Um, puff. I guess that's what this called, an elf puff. Ugh, this thing is just so hard and dense and it just does not work well. I don't like it at all. So to me, this, I don't know, elf, you needed to do something different because this is just not fun to use. Obviously, I've used it a little bit. I don't think I'm going to keep using it. I certainly would not purchase it again. Okay, up to a Yahoo. This telescopic, L'Oreal telescoped it telescopic, wait, telescopic <laughs> lift. And I have it, of course, in the waterproof. I tried this in my new drugstore products video, and I wasn't sure if I liked it because I had to like maneuver it. It does have this, 
area in it where it's almost flat and you're supposed to use that and then use the edges to brush it out. I didn't say in that video, but these brushes, I'll insert a picture right here so you can see it. They have like a little hook to them. That little hook makes a difference. It really does make my lashes just go They, it, It's beautiful. It comes off easily with a makeup melt, melting balm and yep, love this. It is worth the hype. I have not tried the non-waterproof, so I don't know obviously how that works, but this one is amazing. I just keep using it. I just keep reaching for it. And so it's obviously something I'm loving. So it's a Yahoo. Oh, in the video where I talked about the, all the Essence products, I showed you guys this. This is their Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. Cool Coral is what I'm wearing today. These are beautiful. I have really loved them. I love a blush that has a shimmer to it because I don't really want to put a highlight on. Like I don't want to do another step. And I probably really actually wouldn't do the other step because it's just not something I reach for. I don't want to take the time to do it. These are beautiful. They last a good amount of time on my skin. Like I don't feel like I come back at the end of the day and go, oh, I have nothing. But it's very subtle. Like I do not have a dark one on today. It's very subtle to me and I've been loving these. So these are well worth, they're, but I think four bucks. So yeah, these are great. I've been searching for a concealer that I really, really like because the one I like right now is a high-end one from Tarte. So I want to not use a high-end one because I'm really trying to get to drugstore products to show you guys. So this is a drugstore product that I am loving. It is just the e.l.f. It's the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I tried the non-hydrating one and hated that one and I should have known better, but they came out with the hydration one. I actually like this. I, mean, I haven't found the shade I like so far, so I have to keep searching for that because that's key. But something I have been doing is combining this concealer from Koki. This is actually a color corrector in peach and peach will help get rid of the blue that's in your eyes, underneath your eyes. But what I've been doing is I've been combining these two. So I just take one and I put it on my hand and then I take the other and put it on my hand. I mix it with my finger and then I just dab it in. And you can see in this one, I got way too much, but it still looked great. I do have to set it, but not a lot, only a tiny bit of powder and it stayed set throughout the day. So I am, re whoops, <laughs> I am really loving this combination. Beauty Pie came out with some new lip products and they did send this to me, but I've really been enjoying it. They have this lip pencil. It's called the Wonder Girl Long Wear Lip Liner and this is in the color Rummy Pink. So this is a really good pink to me. I like this pink. I like the pencil. It works well. It's a matte, definitely a matte. And then they came out with this lipstick. Now I can't even tell. I'm going to have to look up the color because it is an insert that you put in and you can buy a new one. I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure how to get it out of here, but they do have, you can buy like inserts for each one. So I, I'll have to read up on how to get it out of here. Loving this color. It's one I'm wearing today and I really like it. I should say that I did put Buxom's sugar over it. This is their plumping lip gloss sugar is my absolute favorite one. So I do have that on top because I didn't really want to have a matte look. I wanted a more fresh look. Okay, one boo would be this hairbrush. I had heard that this hairbrush, I'm gonna insert a picture here because I do not have it, I returned it. I bought it off of Amazon. I had heard that it was a wonder brush. Like, maybe that's the name of it. <laughs> Like it worked amazingly to detangle and I've had the wet brush for a long time. So I purchased it. I did not like it at all. And I think it's because I have a lot of hair. If you have thin hair, I think that that will make a difference. The problem is, is that the bristles are just not long enough. They don't get through to my scalp. And so I would be brushing and brushing and brushing 
where I could use my wet brush and the bristles are way longer as you can see and and my wet brush just works really well so I did return this it didn't work for me I think if you have thinner hair you would like it because my niece loves it she's the one who told me about it she said it's great I returned it didn't like it at all a couple home products one I talked about is one of my Christmas list things to buy a woman over 50 and I know it's not a sexy thing to buy somebody but if you have arthritic hands this is going to make a difference to you it is this under the counter can opener thing not can jar opener I have used this so many times it has saved my fingers because I cannot twist a jar to save my life this thing you just put it in you twist it's done it works with almost any size I have not had one that it didn't open it is a saver I even my kids even were like oh I, I forget it's underneath there because you don't see it at all it is amazing it's not expensive it is well worth your time to put it up under your countertop another thing we have been loving lately is this coffee pot it's from Breville it is not inexpensive I will just warn you right now it is kind of a steep price for a coffee pot but or a coffee maker I should say the thing I love about this is number one it makes an amazing cup of coffee we had been using Keurig for many many years and with our whole bent of trying to really just downsize our costs and not be spending and wasting and doing things like that throughout 2023 and hopefully beyond one of those was buying K-cups. K-cups are stinking expensive. You don't really get that great of coffee. Now I subs subs subsidized it by getting their reusable cups, but I will tell you that they're a pain in the butt to clean because you're, I would constantly have those in a bowl. I'm like, yes, I gotta op empty those out and clean them. I don't want to, and I, I, I hated doing it. And my husband didn't like doing it at all so he would use the k-cups and so would my daughter and my son i want a really amazing cup of coffee i want it to not be wasteful as far as for the environment and our money and all of those things so we bought the breville around christmas time and we have loved it it grinds the coffee for you you just use a filter it goes right in you can do an individual cup of coffee or you can do a, up to 12 cups of coffee the carafe helps you keep it warm much longer than a regular like coffee pot that's heated underneath it's not heated underneath so therefore it's not going to get all burnt tasting because it's being heated constantly because now we buy eight o'clock coffee is my favorite right now and you can get it in the grocery store it tastes amazing it's well worth the money and this is the one I am so excited about I got a Kindle I'm so excited oh I just started it <laughs> so I got the Kindle Oasis I have been wanting to do more reading throughout 2023 and I have a hard time because of my fingers and how much they hurt with arthritis I have a hard time holding a book open like I want to be able to just hold it in my hand and I can't do that so I'd have to always put it on something and hold it down because I literally cannot hold something up so I was like you know what I'm getting a Kindle and I first got the Kindle paper white I didn't like it that much because there's not much room on the side to put your fingers and it's by touch it would turn the pages by touch only so someone told me or I read a bunch of reviews or watched a bunch of reviews and they said the Kindle Oasis is great because you've got all this space for your hand it has these buttons to be able to turn the page now I can also turn the page by touching but I really like that it has it I'll just keep my hand over it and as I go I just push it with my thumb it works great and you can see the first book I read was Kristen Hanna's The Four Winds this is a historical fiction about I just finished it literally last night it's set in the dirty 30s so that would be in the Dust Bowl in 1930s when the Great Depression was at its peak and the whole Great Plains were having huge sand you know, dust storms and it's about this woman who lived through it and she uh, I'm not going to tell you much but I will just say it was a good read 
but it was so much fun to read it on my Kindle. I was so excited. So if you are looking for a Kindle, I highly recommend this. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you about my jewelry. That's another Yahoo. These are from the company Teeny Lux. The, my earrings and my necklace. Now I have very sensitive skin. I cannot wear anything with gold. I'm very allergic to gold and I'm very allergic to nickel. And most other things except for sterling silver just irritate my skin, but I like gold. Teeny Lux is made of medical grade titanium. So it's the same stuff that they would make to make like a pacemaker. And these are my latest ones. I will link them below. I love them. They do come in a bigger version and they keep being sold out because everyone loves them as well. And then this necklace I just got, I love them. Now I am an ambassador for Teeny Lux because I literally contacted them and said, I love your product. I want to be an ambassador for you because for the first time in so, so many years, I was able to wear jewelry. Whew, that was a lot of stuff in one video. If you wanna see another Yahoo's and Boo's, I will link one right here. I'll see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.